everyone, it's Jocelyn here at Oak and Marlowe. I wanted to make this quick magic circle tutorial for you so we could quickly go over the steps involved in making this foundational piece for making plush amigurumi projects or plush crochet projects. I had to, in the beginning, watch magic circle videos. I had to open that video up every time I'd make a new project for a really long time. So I hope that you'll find this useful. The blanket yarn that I'm using has become really popular for projects recently. I think it makes them more huggable, more usable. It's kind of a modern take on amigurumi. They do make for faster makes because you can make a larger piece than you would have otherwise with the small, lighter yarn. So most crochet projects are started with this magic circle. So let's get started and make one together. Okay, for this magic circle, I'm gonna be using this really nice plush blanket yarn made by Bernat. It's the color, I think, misty green. Um, so to start, we're going to be just using mainly these three fingers here, and you're gonna be laying the yarn across with just a short tail hanging down across your left hand for if you're right-handed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure this at the top. So I'm just pinching it with my thumb, and then I'm gonna pull this yarn around and back up again to make a little X. And I'm gonna just secure that as well with my thumb and flip my hand over to draw that over. So I'll just do that one more time. So laying across my hand, securing with my thumb, scoop that yarn over, make a little X, secure it again and flip your hand. So now I'll secure this with my pinky so that you've got these two strands of yarn going across the back of your hand. So I'm gonna take my, my crochet hook and I'm gonna actually go under this first strand of yarn that's closest to my fingertips. And then I'm gonna go over the second one. So it's under, then over. You're gonna scoop that one up and pull it through. Okay, and then give that a twist, all right? Once you've done that, you're gonna go and scoop up this strand of yarn. So the one that's furthest away from the tips of your fingers. And you're gonna pull that through your loop. So that creates a little slip knot. And you've still got your fingers in here. So you're gonna actually release those. And now you've got this loop. I do like to unwind the tail. It tends to get twisted while you're doing that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start making my single crochet stitches into this loop, which we'll pull later to tighten them up and make a really tight little circle to start our piece with. So if you need help with the single crochet stitches, you can check out my YouTube channel and we go over that in more detail. I will slowly go through the first couple now, just in case you need a refresher, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert my hook into the loop to start and I'm gonna scoop up my yarn and pull it through. So you've got two loops over your hook, just like any other single crochet stitch. You're gonna yarn over again and pull through both loops. So now you've got one single crochet worked into this magic circle. So I'm gonna work six single crochet into the magic circle. That tends to be fairly typical for many of these crochet projects work in the, worked in the round. And I'm gonna work my second one now. I'll insert my hook again into the loop. I'm gonna scoop up my yarn and pull it up. So you've got two loops on your hook, yarn over again and pull it through. So now you've got two single crochet stitches worked into the circle. So I'll keep going. I'm gonna do this next one a little more quickly. This is the third one. So you've got that the two yarn overs to complete that single crochet stitch. So into the loop, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through. So now we've got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do two more. So that completes six. So you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just counting those little Vs. That last one's right up next to that loop on my hook. So now this creates a little D shape. You can see that here. 
So the way we're gonna tighten this up is I'm gonna just pinch gently at the bottom of that D where the tail is coming out. And I'm gonna give this a pull fairly firmly. Watch your yarn, some yarn. This, this blanket yarn made by Bernat does tolerate it well. Some other yarns can snap. So just make sure that you go gently and we'll just confirm those six stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that completes your magic ring or your magic circle. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Making a magic circle is the very first step in making your very own beautiful plush crochet projects. These gorgeous pieces are perfect for gifting or selling at markets. For more crochet basics videos, check out my YouTube channel and feel free to check out my website at oakandmarlow.com for more easy and beginner friendly crochet patterns and inspiration. Thanks for joining me, happy making, and we'll see you next time.